So we know there are many ways to represent a part, part, whole. In the previous video, we showed you how to represent a part, part, whole using a 10 frame. Like this, where we represented some of the 10 frame counters in red and some in blue. So in this example, there are eight red and two blue to have a total of 10. So one part red, one part blue, and the whole is all together. Another way to represent part, part, whole is using unifix cubes. Here I have unifix cubes in two different colors. Some are blue, some are pink. Four are blue and three are pink to equal a whole of seven. Part, part, whole. So if we were to write this in an equation, it would be four plus three equals seven. The add-ins are the part and the sum is the whole. Now let's look at this with a number bond. Here I have the teddy bear counters representing my two parts, part, part, and we are trying to discover what the whole is. So, the bears will move from the two parts to represent the whole, which is 10. Let's take a look at another one. Here, I'm using counters. I have a part of five, a part of six, and I am missing the whole. All of my parts will combine to form the whole which is 11. Let's try another one. Here we have five and three, but this time we are not using manipulatives to represent our thinking. We are only using numbers. So can you try to figure out what the whole could be? If this were an equation, it would be five plus three. And we know that five plus three equals eight. All right, this time we are missing a part. So I've gone back to using counters to represent my thinking. I have a part of two and a whole of six. Now, this can look like the bears shifting back to the part. So I'm going to have two bears shifting back to the part and the remaining four bears shifting back to my other part. Because I know that four plus two equals six. So I can discover which parts are missing by returning some to the part and figuring out which ones are left. Hopefully this video helped you become a little bit more familiar on how to discover either missing parts or the missing whole using number bonds with and without manipulatives. The next few slides are going to ask you to try and discover more missing parts or the missing whole using a number bond. Good luck, review the video if you need additional help, and have fun!